In this activity we're going to learn how to make four of our own stunning stencils to produce a repeated printed pattern. Materials needed are a pair of scissors, some white acrylic paint, a darker colour sheet of paper or card to print on, a sponge for dabbing paint and some paper. A pencil and some masking tape would also be very handy. Let's also be conscious to think green. Extra points for students who can reuse an old magazine or a newspaper to reduce their paper waste. The size of paper to print on should not be smaller than A4. A3 size is recommended, which is basically two A4 papers put side by side. Here we will demonstrate four different methods of making a stencil. You should watch the making methods, then choose which one you would like to try. It is recommended to try cutting out all four of them so you can choose which one works the best for you. First thing I need to show you is how to make a perfect square. Start with some A4 size paper, fold it in half and cut that into two pieces. Next, fold one corner to meet the straight edge like so and cut off the extra strip of paper. When you open this out, the paper will now be a square shape, no longer a rectangle. Method 1 is the easiest. Now we have a square, you need to fold it diagonally in half to make a triangle shape. Take the pencil and draw some very simple shapes that will be easy for you to cut out, as triangles and curves. You may copy this design or design your own, but keep it simple and and make sure that the shapes will hit the central fold. In stencil method two, we start with a square as we did before, but this time we fold it in half to make a rectangle, and then in half again to make a small folded square. Now take some scissors and cut along the two folded edges some simple shapes and open to reveal the stencil. Stencil method 3 is similar to method 2 where we fold the square down to a smaller square, however this time we fold the small square in half to make a triangle. Then we cut out the shapes along the folded line and open out to reveal the stencil. To make stencil method 4, fold a paper square in half to make a rectangle. Then we fold it again to make a small square. Next fold this square to make a triangle. And then fold it once more to bring one side of the triangle to meet the edge neatly. As the paper is folded thicker with this method it will be more of a challenge to cut out detailed shapes so make them simple. Part 2 of this video is printing repeated patterns. Take your favourite looking stencil and place it to line up with the top left corner of some coloured paper. Dip a sponge into a little white acrylic paint ensuring to dab off any extra excess paint and avoid messy paint splotches. Carefully dab that sponge over the entire stencil and do not wipe or drag the sponge as that will break the stencil and shape you're trying to print. Now slowly lift the stencil and repeat this process across the paper until you have achieved a repeated pattern of at least four or more stencils.